Hi friends! Today we are going to start with the topic electric current. So let's start. When you enter a room at night, which is not lighted, it is very dark and you cannot see anything. So what do you do? You switch on the light so that you can see everything in the room. Have you ever wondered where this light comes from? And is there any connection between the light source and the switch that you turn on? Is there anything flowing through the light source and the switch? Yes, there is. It's electricity, or the electric current that flows from the switch to the light source, or any electrical appliance. All the appliances, like television, electric iron, ceiling fan, a computer, oven, all of these need electric energy in order to run. And you put their wire into the socket to turn them on, so that they get some energy which is electrical energy. And all these appliances convert electrical energy into light energy, heat energy, sound energy, mechanical energy, and other forms of energy. Like the battery turns chemical energy into electrical energy. The oven converts electrical energy into heat energy. Your music player converts electrical energy into sound energy. The ceiling fan converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. We also have systems that convert these energies back into electrical energy. Like a windmill, it converts the energy of moving air into electrical energy. Solar power plant, it converts the energy from the sun into electrical energy. A dam converts the energy of flowing water into electrical energy. So now you know the purpose for which we use electricity. We will now learn about electricity in detail. Electrical energy or electricity is of two types. Static electricity and current electricity. Let's first study what is static electricity. When electricity is at rest, it is called static electricity. This was first noticed by a Greek man named Thales over 2,500 years ago. Thales found that amber, when rubbed with a silk cloth, attracts tiny feathers and this was due to static electricity. Only a suitable combination of certain substances, when rubbed together, gets charged, like a glass rod with silk, ebonite rod, and woolen cloth. You can experiment. Take a comb and rub it on your hair. Bring this close to pieces of paper. The bits of paper are attracted towards the comb. It happens because of static electricity that is produced on the comb. So static electricity is generated by friction, or rubbing of two suitable materials against each other. And this phenomenon, where two suitable combinations of bodies are rubbed together to get electrified, is called electrification. Now let's learn about the other type of electricity, current electricity. Current electricity is a phenomenon of moving electrons in a particular path or direction, that is, the flow of electrons through a conducting material. Like a wire, and in all the other appliances we use, this current of electricity travels through the wires. Current electricity can come from various sources, and the most commonly used are batteries that you can see and use in your toys, remotes, and so on and so forth. These batteries rely on chemical reactions within them to produce electricity, and that electricity is used by appliances into which we fit these batteries. Current electricity can also be produced through generators, by converting the mechanical energy into electrical energy. Current electricity is also produced with the help of solar power plants and also using solar cells. So now we know that electricity is of two types, static electricity and current electricity. Now let's contrast these two types of electricity. Static electricity is produced by the buildup of electrical charges on the surface of objects. 
and current electricity is a phenomenon of moving electrons in a particular path or direction, that is, the flow of electrons through a conducting material. When objects are rubbed, a loss or gain of electrons occurs, which results in the phenomenon of electricity. And current electricity is generated by batteries and power plants. Static electricity is usually uncontrolled and happens at irregular intervals. Current electricity is normally controlled and it is used in countless applications and the examples are endless. All the appliances that we use in our homes, offices, malls, etc. use current electricity. An example of static electricity can be walking on a carpet floor and getting a shock when touching the doorknob or any other metal object. Static electricity does not need a conductor to travel from one place to another. Whereas current electricity needs some conductor to travel from one place to another. Static electricity moves across small gaps. For example, it attracts bits of paper from a distance. Whereas current electricity cannot travel across gaps, it needs a wire to travel. So today we learned what is electricity and the differences between the two types of electricity. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye bye